All right, so now that we have our path tool all created, we have the HCA, let's actually get it over into Unity so we can test it out, see if everything is uh, working appropriately. Okay, so let's jump back into Unity and take a look. All right, so here we are back inside of Unity. And what I want to do is I want to copy the path HDA over into my Unity project. So I have my two folders open over here. And so what I'm going to do is copy the basic path HDA into my terrain utils folder that we created. All right, I'm trying to keep all the artist tools into one folder and all of the other stuff in other folders, basically. So let's just drag and drop this into the scene. And you can see. Right off the bat, we have a piece of geometry. It's working perfectly. Um, but the thing is, is it's really tiny, which is fine. I mean, you can always go and it really comes down to um, what the artist, the level designers prefer in this case, because uh, it might be a little bit cumbersome to go and you know have to move this thing around uh, right off the bat. It's probably you know safe to say you're going to be creating these curves um, for levels mostly, and so. We should, you know, make the default curve just a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is just uh, place this guy right here, like so. Just try to get something set up, you know, for us to view and uh, play around with. Uh, plus, I'd also really want to color this too. So I'm going to actually add another point around these parts over here, like so. Hit Escape to exit all that stuff, and then we can hit the Edit button to raise these guys up off the terrain there a little bit all right i just want to get this thing set up so we can test out the functionality of uh, utilizing pdg to basically create our roads and dynamically update the tiles and stuff like that all right very cool so i think that's going to be pretty good these guys are a little bit high off the ground there kind of want to get something that almost right on the ground this is going to be more of a path than a road, but you can quickly see how you could easily modify this for a road. The, the concept is exactly the same. All right, so let's just leave it there like so. I think that's going to be good. Okay, so let's make a couple of uh, edits here. Uh, so what I want to do is just give it some color. So I'm going to go back into Houdini here where we have our tool. And I'm going to jump back inside and let's just give it a, a color. All right, so let's just do this. And I'm going to start it out with something like, let's do like an orange, one of my favorite colors. Something like that. But we'll expose it so that way the level designer can change it. And then, you know, they can basically color code um, how they see fit. You know, you might want some paths to be a certain type of path. And it's different from another type of path, basically. So let's open up that type properties window there. And let's jump back inside and then just uh, middle mouse and hold down the alt key on the keyboard and click just to promote that. Cool. And then for the default curve, let's make it a little bit bigger. So uh, what I need to do is select the default curve node and hit enter on the keyboard. And let's just go to our top view here. All right. And let's just make this you know much larger at the start. So I'm going to take the two endpoints and just drag them out like so. This will just make it easier for the level designer to grab the points right off the bat. So they're not having to do that every single time. I'm going to try to take care of, you know, manual steps here to make it really easy. The easier tools are to use by artists, the more they're going to want to use them. So always keep that in mind. All right. So with that change, what I'm going to do is just uh, right click on it, save node. Okay. Go back to Unity over here and go to my folder. So we want the HDA folder, for my Houdini project. This is the current version of the path tool. And I'm going to overwrite the older version that's inside of Unity. All right, so let's go and select the path in our scene here and hit rebuild. And there you go. So now we have some color on that. Very cool. All right, and we're going to let the level designers go and change this to whatever color they want. Maybe it's a river instead, you know, so let them color code it. Alrighty, and we also have the ability to, to make this a little bit wider, which I think I'm actually going to do. Let's make it a little wider and let's go and just make a final edit here. I'm going to pull these guys down just a bit and we're going to call that good. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to give ourselves the ability to import this path 
inside of our HDR top network. Okay, and it's going to be very similar to uh, the areas, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that it auto updates only the tiles that it's intersecting. All right, cool. So let's get that process started in the next few lectures. Thanks so much.